Okay, today we're going to talk about polygons. So the definition of polygon, if we pull apart the word, poly means many and gon means sides. So polygon just means many sides. So today we're going to talk about different shapes that have many different sides. So in talking about polygons, there are some rules. So polygons have to have three or more sides. So if we had a um, polygon that only had two sides, for example, if I were to try to draw a polygon with two sides, it, oop, I need a different color. It would look like this, right? And it's not closed. So that's not a polygon. So that goes along with rule number two, which is it must have a closed shape. So if it doesn't have a closed shape, just like this one, that only has two sides and it's not closed. So neither of those will work. Just like that check mark, right? That's not a, that's not a um, shape that has more than three sides. This one over here that looks kind of like a, an X doesn't have a closed side either. It has a little opening in there. So that's not a polygon. It can't have rounded sides. So this heart, while it is an adorable heart, is not going to be a polygon because it has these rounded edges over here. So that's going to make it not a polygon. The last one is that it can't have intersecting lines. So this little bow tie over here is, again, adorable. However, it has lines that are intersecting. So that doesn't count as a polygon either. So those are, some, those are just some rules about polygons to follow and to, find, to identify if it is a polygon or not. Um, there are two different ways to talk about polygons. Well, let's talk about regular polygons first, um, meaning that all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. Congruent is just a fancy word for equal. <clears throat> so if I were to draw a square, then that would give me a regular polygon. If I were to draw a, if you look at a stop sign, that's a regular polygon. All the sides are the same. All the angles are the same. So that is a regular polygon, is an octagon. This shape right here is, oops, goodness gracious, I got an arrow. This shape right here as a hexagon is also regular because all of those, um, those sides and those angles are equal. So, that being said, the next two ways to talk about our polygons are concave and convex. So concave means that at least one of the angles looks like it's quote-unquote caving in. So if we look down here at this star, these angles look like they are caving in. So what I mean by that is that right here, see how this angle's pushing in? Same with this one and this one. So all of these that look like they're pushing in towards the middle of the shape are the ones that are going to be caving in, which is really making this a concave shape. Now the opposite of concave is going to be convex. So convex looks like this. So typical shapes that we're used to seeing, like a rectangle or a square, where all of these angles are pushing out. So you see that this one is pushing out, pushing out, pushing out. See how all of my corners or my vertexes are pushing out? So that's how we have the difference between convex and concave shapes. I don't know why that went crooked on me. Anyway, so those are our polygon definitions. Now, Let's think about this. Knowing our definitions, do you think that this is a polygon? No, it is not a polygon because it has an intersecting space on it. How about this one? Is this a polygon? Yes, it is a polygon, and it is a concave polygon. Um, again, because our sides are caving in. Is this a polygon? Yes, this is a polygon. It's a closed shape. It has more than three si or three or more sides. Um, it's not there. It doesn't have rounded edges. It's not intersecting. So this is a polygon. Is this a polygon? No, this is not a polygon because it has this rounded edge here. So that is not a polygon. Is this a polygon? No, because it has this open space right here. So that makes it not a polygon. Is this a polygon? Yes, this is a polygon. This is actually a regular pentagon, regular because all the side lengths are the same and all the angles are the same. So that is a regular pentagon, pentagon because it has five sides. Now, getting to our sides. So 
Polygons are named by the number of sides that they have. So we have the prefix of what they're, the number of sides, and then the last part is typically gon. There's a couple that are a little different, like triangle and quadrilateral, but gon meaning sides. So if we break this down, pentagon, penta meaning five, gon meaning sides. So this is a five-sided shape. So let's run through a couple here. So a triangle is a, it's also called a trigon, if we're gonna get into the gon um, ending of our word. So trigon or triangle is a three-sided polygon, but you're gonna hear triangle more often. This is a um, quadrilateral, um, also called, oh, not a trigon, a quadrigon. Um, it's also can be called a quadra quadrangle. So quadrangle, quadrilateral. All sorts of names for this one, quad meaning four. And in this case, lateral meaning, whoops, sides. So this one we talked about before, penta meaning five, gon meaning side, so five sides. This is a hexagon, a six-sided object. Heptagon is five, is seven sides. Octagon is eight sides. Nonagon is nine sides. Decagon is 10 sides. Now, what are you noticing about what this shape is starting to look like? Think about that. And here's a dodecagon, which means 12. So a dodec, dodec, meaning 12, dodecagon, 12 sided. So as we add more shape, as, as more we add more sides, these regular polygons are going to look more and more like circles. Um, so they're not circles, but they start resembling a little bit more of the circle shape um, as they're regular polygons and not concave. So regular convex polygons will start kind of resembling a little bit of a circle shape as we add more sides. So these are, um, this is kind of pulling them and pulling even more sides into it. It's harder to find images of these because um, regular Trichi decagons are just not a real common thing. So if we pull apart this word, tri meaning three, chi is like teen, kind of like, so like 13 with this chi deck is, gets you into those teen numbers. So trichi decagon means 13. Tetrachi decagon is 14. Pentachi decagon is 15. Hexachi decagon is 16. Heptachi decagon is 17. Octachi decagon is 18. Any Akai decagon is 19, an icosagon is 20, a tricontagon is 30, a tetracontagon is 40, and then we get really big. So a hectagon is 100, a chiliagon is 1,000, and then a 10,000 sided shape is a myriagon. Now, many of these you're not going to see out there in the real world, but they are really cool to think about and cool to say. Um, so, but the ones that we're, we're going to focus on the most in our geometry unit are going to be like triangles, quadrilaterals, you know, pentagons, hexagons, octagons. Those are your most common types of polygons, but it's fun to know all these other extra ones. So thanks for listening.